I'm on pause phrase. Do you want to just hang back a little bit? I can peek first. Yeah, yeah, I'm going up to it. I'm, I'm on decoy. You're done. Three dead. Where's the last guy? Four dead. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna bed and I'm pushing. Hi. It doesn't matter, he's dead. I think I'm dead, I think I'm dead. No, what the fuck you fuck? Oh, nice. Oh shit, bro, he did so much damage. Wow, okay. Okay, look, I, I can try and push up and get an angle here with the, with my mortar. Remember, they have mortar as well. Yeah, they will have another one. Am I going there? I got a mortar call down. Yeah, me too. I'm stuck in there. Let's push him, push him. What the fuck is that flag, you guys? I'm coming back to the left here. Come back, come back, come back, come back. You're too deep. You're too deep. Come on, dead, too dead. Oh my god, what's going on, guys? When you're not left hand peak and you can't get a kill, you fucking f easy. Can we, can we can we make your push and ape the guy that's in here? Where the fuck are you going, you fucking dog shit? Easy. That's a wipe. Easy wipe. Okay, okay. Oh my god, what's going on guys? What's going on? Don't tell me you're running again. There's no way. Ah! He's gonna try to jump the window. Raji, I'm coming at you. Oh no! can die like a camel.
You missed. Why are you looking back at the fucking door? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> random <laughs> and also because I'm running capacitor without skills that benefits from it I can solve weapon without thinking oh my stick is gonna be weak which means when I'm running with drone I can get the extra skill to while running so there's definitely some things going for this version one damn we're doing damage but I was able to survive it on an ape push high-end capacitor he's got 45 reload speed on that build I'd rather go contract instead of foxes you get reload speed. 15% weapon handling is better than 20% accuracy. Poor mm. man. We go up. You believe. It's the story. Every single time. You have a full team. You wipe them like they're nothing. Oh, we can't compete. Time to change server. You have to die and play like a bot for them to be like, oh, yeah, Guys, this is really fun. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Just f so leave server. After like two wipes. They're gone. Well, anyway, it turns out this guy is a streamer here on YouTube. And so here he is in a four-man team, lagging up with my friend. There were a couple other people in the server. I think Renegade Volodya was there and um, some other guy. But they happened to flag up on one guy, right? And there's me coming along. You saw my POV earlier in my video. And um, they struggle between three of them to kill one of my teammates. So, of course, they then get shot in the back, die not a very it shouldn't be dying like that to be honest so there's three of us there um and if we just jump forward a little bit as well to the next fight the one that you're about to see is um yeah they they pull up to this area and um yeah here we are so i guess we're about to flag so here we are flagging and uh, he has a thing to say about it <laughs> i mean he got looked at by three people of course you're gonna die instantly Right, something is very sussy with these guys. Apparently we're sus. For what? Bro, you picked a corner against three DPS capacitor something players. very, very sus about You got instant melted because three people looked at you. There's nothing sus there. It's not like it was one guy that killed you that quick, because that would probably be, be cheats. It's three people. And this is why people leave the server. And that's why I like... I've always found it interesting to fight people from their POV. Because you get to understand the mind, the, the, the thought process behind why they do the things that they do. And uh, if they have no explanation for it, they just jump to conclusions like, oh, sus, uh, cheating, uh, and then it's like, oh, leave, leave these guys. Instead of fighting with a numerical advantage, um, you, you, you change server to go kill farmers at the landmark. I just don't understand. This is the kind of thing that 
if you continue to do this over a long period of time, I don't mean you in particular, Don Solo, in case you're watching this. I mean everyone in your position that goes through the same thought process. You're never going to get good if you continuously search for weaker targets. And it's, uh, don't get me wrong, I, I'm not saying you've got to stay there and fight for half an hour, but two wipes? That's pathetic. Straight pathetic, man. You gotta try harder. Went out, went out, went out. Dead. Another one dead. Crashed. Bro, what the fuck? Why am I crashing?